Right, hello everyone, me again, got another update for you on the, got the final update for you on Warren on my 172 scale F51D Mustang from Airfix that I've entered into Warren Blanche's Cold War Classics group build. Before I do the old update, shout outs to Model Work, Model Pro 72 Lenny. Lenny, great work on your Spitfire. Can't wait to see it all finished with its prop and its landing gear on and all the and all the weathering ultimate weathering washes all dried off. Um, Paul uh, printing modern Chris, basic modeling Rob, Aaron Atomic Dog 32 Brian, Aaron Newlands, Alex modeling, making models again Gary, Shane Harland, Waterloo 745. Warren Blanche, Lonson, hi Warren, great work on your lightning, fabulous job on your right, shall I say, shall I say, great, fabulous job on your white lightning, Warren. Um, obviously, thanks for making the comment telling me that it's that the group build finished the build, the group build finished on the first of December. Um, so yeah, and obviously this, as, as as I said in the beginning of the video. That, and the introduction. It's uh, obviously it's my final update, so my finished product won't be too far away. But anyway, let's carry on with shout outs. Lon757, Pete, Daz Guy and Spartak, RSDV, Callum Wilding, Master HQ, Dead Ram Tom, um, Mr. Z Kits, AZ Kits, um, Airfix Freak. Andrew Coins, Handy Model, Mr. Mosquito WS, Cool Fan JU, James Deval six, James Dace, James Deval 64, 64, Train Boy 220, Golden Eagle, Crazy Kit Builder, Crazy Modeler, Hobby Modeler, UK Scale Modeler, Mr. Great Models, Paul March, Engineering Darts from Missouri, Dan, Max, Marin, Ellie, Mina, Kelsey, Kira, Chloe, Mum, Haley. Mum, Haley, Billy, June, Greg, Lynn, Lenny, Ashley, Ashley, Alex, Alex, Ashley, Ashley, Alex, Alex, Andrew, Gavin, George, Tom, Tristan, John, Joe, Sam, Caroline, Luke, Lisa, Lucy, Louie, Luke, Lisa, Lucy, Louie, Debbie, Nico, and Charlotte. Speak to you soon, buddy. And if I do see you soon, well, put it this way, you're going to be not surprised that the Air Force has grown, so to speak. So, on with the odd update then. Right, as you gentlemen can now probably gather, I'm going to go around here because I'm right. Right, as you gen. As you gentlemen can now put together, the Mustang is now fully painted. Colours, um, colour scheme, I did it in the Korean Aussie, I did it what it's gonna be in the when I put the decals on, it's gonna be it's gonna be in the Korea it's gonna be a Korean War, um a Korean War Mustang. So because when it was changed, because when the when the designation was changed in 1948 to F for fighter, um, obviously the nose, the paint, the um, anti-glare paint, col the colour of the anti-glare paint on the top of the cowling changed. So, because you know how my other one was in not a drab, well, this one's in black as a result of the change. So that, so the anti-glare paint on the top part of the engine cowling is black pretty much up to pretty much all that was black all the way over all, all around the canopy pretty much all the way up to the tail then obviously you've got silver and then obviously you've got as I said like, like, like the last one I used Humbrol Revell I used Revell um, Revell 90 silver on the top side as well as the ailerons on the top side of the of the wings and, and horizontal stabilizers and elevators 
and on the sides of the fuselage and the rudder and obviously the black also and the other thing is I added the black trim tab is black trim tab and obviously the trim tabs black is black is 33 matte black um, as you can probably see the uh, wing tips the, the tips of the wings and the horizontal stabilizers are yellow as as is the tip of the rudder and the prop spinner is the propeller spinner the propeller spinner is also yellow the propeller spinner is also yellow as well as are the propeller tips the tips of the propellers and also the propeller blades other than the tips are 33 matte black the exhaust stacks both of them sidewise are done in in, in 53 gun metal um, the underside you've got predominantly silver you've got predominantly silver you've got predominantly silver apart from where the propeller is which is yellow and the wing tips and obviously the horizontal stabilizer tips the the underside is silver um, it's all sil is silver obviously to do because obviously I did the rockets and the, the underwing armament uh, silver tail fins and and heads olive drab heads olive drab on the head as well white as part of the barrel white barrels and white barrels and then for the bombs you bombs are olive drab uh, the obviously the um, fairing doors are on the inside on, are on the inside are aluminium on the outside they are just plain normal silver same with the landing gear legs same with the landing gear legs silver and silver silver and silver um, obviously I painted that bit down there that bit where the radiator is in black tail wheel is black and um, 56 aluminium the struts are obviously aluminium as well the tail wheel itself is a million the tail wheel doors are silver and aluminium obviously the tips of the uh, horizontal stabilizers are also oh, also silver now the problem is with this lighting condition we've got is when I show this on the camera because this is silver you're probably not seeing anything because the silver because the camera is reflecting off the silver but I'm doing my best to show you the underside without you getting not any form of nasty glare because of the silver paint you see so yeah that's the underside that's the top side and these are that's the side view other side view other side view so yeah um, so yeah that's the Mustang now fully painted um, my views on it well my views on it exactly like the last that's exactly like the other kit that I did brilliant, brilliant kit to build in terms of fitting and in terms of fit it's a good killed it fits well the kit fit goes together and fits the kit goes together nicely the kit assemb the kit fits nicely and goes together not go, go goes together nicely everything fitted well no major gaps no major no major gaps so to speak and no major gaps no major gaps no magic no gate no j no gate no major gaps no major steps other than
other than the wing and then the other than the fuser other than the wing to fuselage joint on the first on the front um on the front half of it on the front uh, on the front part of the front think wings low wing to fuse wing to wing to fuselage join so yeah um they really decent kit um i would highly recommend this kit to the to the beginner especially what with the decal being the instrument panel being a decal so you don't have to worry about dry detail painting or dry brushing the the instrument panel so yeah that's me mustang gentlemen right i suppose you're wondering what's me again and i wonder if you're wondering what my, what my, that noise was it's one of my reviews well, well i've got actually got a couple reviews to do what i'll be doing along whilst i'm doing the hawk typhoon well let's whilst i'm doing my next project what you heard was not you didn't hear what i was doing next what you all you heard is why well, i'll be doing a couple of reviews whilst in the due call in the due course of building my next project all right which will be revealed which will be revealed on the finished on the completed build video so i've got to do that so i've got to now decal this mustang this one up so till the next video with this one with this one decaled up paint on your hands and face glue on your hands and face don't annoy parents be good to them have fun modeling and i'll see you guys on the next vid because i've got a shoot i've now got to shoot and do some deck i've got to now prepare the uh i've now got to prepare my my work my modeling room for deckling the mustang up right so till then catch you guys on the next vid all right bye yep good 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 bye 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 guys bye